Welcome back to Foster Oil Ohio Model Railroad Club. Um, I bought some foam board. I'm going to show you step by step how to make a cheap portable layout. Wooden Seenlick sells the kit, but it's like 600 bucks. But it doesn't come with buildings or the track, but it comes with everything else. But I want to do it on the cheap. Um, it's called Va uh, Value Central or something like that. I I'll, 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 whatever it's called. So I went out and bought foam. So this is what I'm going to make my foam risers out of. I'll show you how I do it. I'm going to use a normal band saw here. I'll mock everything up, cut everything. And then I'll show you how I make my foam risers. This is exactly two inch foam, just like they have it. And I'll do, do a step by step on it. Okay, it's been a few days. Today's Friday. I'm um, sorry I didn't do it. Uh, course record that was not thinking of just in the mood to kind of get it done now I cut all the foam risers and everything so I'll explain how I did it and I changed the, the theme up quite a bit now uh, before we talk about this let's go in the other room like like I was saying you know, I went from this two inch foam I cut everything up as a four by eight sheet from Lowe's and then uh, everybody we had we had a rot model railroad meeting today a couple of them like oh you made some foam risers i sure did now they're just exactly two inches thick and everything else i have a bandsaw i cut it exactly like uh wooden scenic that has but i cut everything on like i said a bandsaw it helps it's really messy at the moment so i cut the grooves in it i kind of guessed i i think it's about every inch is what i did even then, I, I just flip it around on the other side. Did the same thing. Now, this is one of the wooden Scenelix, uh foam risers I had laying around. I used this as a template as the same width of this. But I didn't go as crazy wide with it. Now, um, this kit here, he bought it exactly from wooden Scenelix. You're looking at about 180 bucks. But I'm trying to save some money. But uh, anyway, if you bought the whole entire kit, um, I was gonna buy it, but it's like 600 bucks. But you don't get no track buildings or anything, so I don't think it's kind of worth that kind of money for that kind of a price. And this is just my opinion. But I'm trying to save some money. Maybe it just to help you guys too. You know, all you have to do is go to the Lowe's, buy a two inch foam board for like. I think it was like 46 bucks and I got less than 46 dollars in it besides glue and my time and I enjoy kind of create my own system now I kind of created this a little bit here because in the directions I, I download their uh, directions and everything it's like I think 28 pages but it tells you everything you need to know but I modified this track plan big time okay um, what I mean is since this is gonna be a portable layout um, there ain't gonna be no I ain't putting no switches here until into here or anything I ain't doing nothing like that that's one modifications I did and the other modification like like I was saying right here's a switch and it goes into here and then they come around here like a, a loopy loop and everything nope I did it differently so it's gonna come around here. So I have that loopy loop. It's gonna be dead straight. And my brother, he's gonna 3D print me a bridge. So we're gonna make a custom bridge scene sitting here. And I think it'd be pretty awesome. So in the directions, it shows going from like two inch down to here to about one inch. And then I'll back up again. So I kind of guessed a little bit like they done it and then i then from up here you gotta start down there and work your way up all the way around to you get to close to two inches it now it looks kind of funky here don't worry about it because i'm gonna sand it by hand so i i like how it really turned out honestly and the, the guys were eager about it so hopefully if you guys want to show up tomorrow or something it'd be great I'll be posting this on Facebook if anybody wants to come and hang out for a while. 
in my garage. So I think they're coming down. But I, all in all, I really like how this whole thing came out. And this is going to be HL. That way we got a 4x8 HL scale, even an N scale portable layout. I don't know if I'm taking to the Foster 8 train show yet. I don't know if I get it that far. If I don't, I'll just take it. If you guys say, hey, go ahead and just take it, I'll take it. All right, now what I gotta do is I gotta cut some cork up for this and everything else. So I'm trying to do it as cheap as I can and hopefully it helps you guys out too. So stay tuned for part two.